Hi, the guys at Drobo here talking about backup in the modern world and using disk storage for that medium. Eric, a lot of stuff's changed over the past couple years, uh, particularly recently uh, in data protection. Talk about some of those trends. Well, you know, a few of them. The, you know, the big one is you know, the, the the desire to back up to disk you know, instead of another another medium. Um, you know, Drobo is an excellent uh, backup to disk target. One because we have thin provisioning built in, uh, which allows you to uh, take a guess at what how much capacity you need initially, but you can always expand expand by adding more drives later on, and it automatically grows as you as you need it. Mm -hmm. You know, the other is um, you know what your backup nowadays is often a virtual machine, mm -hmm. not necessarily you know a physical piece of hardware. You know, bare, bare metal recovery has always been a challenge in the past, but now recovery recovery is a lot easier because you restore the VM, you, you, re, you boot it back up on, on any machine that you have, and you're back up and running again. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah, right. There's lots of choice out there, too. Maybe people are confused with how many choices there are. Maybe why don't you go through a couple of them out of the ones that are most popular with the customers we talk to. Sure. So probably the most popular are going to be something like Symantec uh, Backup Exec, System Recovery, maybe AppAssure, or uh, maybe even Microsoft Data Protection Manager. Great thing about all of those products is they're actually have deduplication built in. So while it's performing the backup, it's performing deduplication to go ahead and maximize that uh, backup storage. So Eric, you talked about virtual machines, and there's other uh, oh. applications built specifically for that. Talk about the advantages that Drobo has with thin provisioning in those, because capacity planning, particularly in a virtual environment, is really hard to do. Right. Well, you know, yeah, capacity planning is very hard. You have to think of you have to think of your initial full backup capacity and how much you need to back up once, and then incremental backups. Different applications have different efficiency levels when doing incremental backups. So some some you may have to do it do another full backup, you know, each uh, each Friday night or something like this. So capacity planning is challenging, and and with Drobo creating one large 16 terabyte volume that's thinly provisioned and having the amount of storage you need at that point in time mm -hmm. sitting behind it allows you to expand that pool of storage and, uh, you know, and grow as you need it. So virtual machine backup, there's a couple other examples that are really tuned for that, Matt. Uh, having the ability to spawn those volumes on the fly and take advantage of a common storage pool really is great. What are some of the examples of those Sure, that, that's really one of the great things about virtualized backups. So if we talk about maybe something like a Cronus VM Protect or Veeam, what we can do is we can actually spin up those virtual machines directly from backup storage. Mm -hmm. So our time to recovery is literally as fast as you can click to boot that VM, you're back up and running. So there's no need to transfer that data back onto your primary storage. Well, I know recovery's changed a lot over the years when tape was really where you put stuff because it was the only thing that was deemed affordable enough. Being able to mix and match drives and buy affordable high capacity storage like Drobo is changing the game because mm -hmm. you can back up to disk, get the advantages of random access restore, quick restores, and so quick as you can even you know, uh, kick off a VM directly from the backup. That really is something that it makes data protection a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. For more information on data protection solutions and the different options, and how to configure Drobo in lots of different application environments like the ones we talked about, you can go to our website at drobo.com slash solutions for more info.